Hello again, you're joining me for another lakeside lunch. Uh, just finished half of it. I thought I'd do a little video um, for those of you who are having trouble with productivity. Um, most important piece of advice is get out of the office. So it's really nice to come outside or somewhere where you find some kind of comfort. For me it's um, the lake and I was trying to think of why because all I do is just sit on the grass, feel the grass underneath my feet and my hands, um, look at the sky, look at the water and I was thinking why does that make me feel so chilled and, and I'm not too sure. It's some kind of distressing thing just looking at the waves and the leaves blowing through the wind. Um, I think it's a just a different pace compared to the office work. Um, it's a lot more soothing, you're getting back to nature I think. And I started thinking about the water and how when British explorers were first thinking oh what's over the horizon, maybe it's something deeper within humanity where if we see an expanse of land or water we want to go further. I'm thinking if it inspires some kind of new research thoughts, it definitely puts your work into perspective to get out of the office. Um, so definitely give that a go. So good luck with your work. Okay, so I'm back home. Uh, I didn't spend long in uni today. I only came up at about noon till 4pm. Um, yesterday I spent about 12 hours in the office just doing loads of MATLAB coding um, and it takes its toll, especially when all all my work is basically on the computer unless it's some lab work where I'm building samples like the ones I showed in the previous video. But on the topic of things in nature, um, I was reading an article. So I'm subscribed to a few magazines. Um, this one's from the Institution of Mechanical Engineers and then this one's the Institution of Engineering and Technology. And they send a magazine once a month and I've got loads to catch up on. So at the moment I'm reading this one from February. Uh, 2016 and it's a mix so that's an EI ENT one and a really interesting article popped up on about Leonardo where he was a mix of artist and engineer a huge renaissance man and something really interesting popped up in here and I was thinking about it's a huge coincidence so here is where Leonardo writes those who are inspired by a model other than nature, a mistress above all masters, are labouring in vain. I thought that was um, pretty interesting. Um, I, I had a huge coincidence that this, I was just thinking about this earlier today at the lake, and then I'm catching up on this reading, and then in this one chapter uh, on about Leonardo, one of the greatest inventors, engineers, artists, draftsmen, of all time. Hugely influential. So like in this article they're talking about things that he invented 300 years before they were even ever used. Things like uh, the parachute, uh, a mirror grinding machine, uh, a pair of scissors, he invented those, portable bridges which are still used by the military, um, a bucket wheel excavator. If you've ever seen huge mining in places like America where they have these huge diggers that are just plowing the earth with huge buckets on wheels. Um, uh, the meter lock, which apparently is still using canals. The double hull for ships, and it says here that if the Titanic had one, it might still be floating. And something called the spring drive, which is now mostly used in toys. Um, I don't know where he got his inspiration from, but it looks like maybe he spent loads of time just looking at nature and was inspired by the mechanisms, which kind of makes sense because evolution's had billions of years of experimentating with mechanisms, uh, so it's quite interesting to to read about this because um, I totally agree with this article. Anyway, have a good day.